Thank you, Heather. Uh, I also want to thank OMDC and Janet um, and everyone who organized this evening. It's an honor to be here. I have to say I'm blown away by the company. Um, very humbled and very happy. Um, I'd also like to say um, uh, a thank you to um, the jurors for their kind reading of Bird's Art Life. So I'm going to read um, a short excerpt from uh, later in the book. And throughout the book, my bird guide is referred to as the musician, and he's actually a local musician by the name of Jack Breakfast. The musician felt far, far away, walking slightly ahead of me or beside me, but not with me. He had never in the months we had spent together ever made me feel uninvited. But now as I walked in his shadow, quietly following, watching his head dip with each step, as if tracing the rhythm of some private thought or song, I felt like a lousy tag-along. A few days earlier, he had told me he thought he might be losing interest in birds. I dismissed it as a bad mood, the symptom of a slow season. But now I was wondering if he really meant it. His enthusiasm had made me believe in the city's wrecks and barrens. He had added a shine to the dull wastelands and added magic to shores clotted with ugly condo towers and building cranes. And now that he was elsewhere, I felt the city lose its gleam. We walked along the waterfront boardwalk until we reached a stretch of beach known as Sunnyside. We were nearing the end of our last walk together. And then suddenly, the musician was making his way towards the lake. He was beelining for the concrete break walls and I hurried to catch up. There were a few trumpeter swans on the beach, but the musician ignored them and kept walking towards an odd crow-sized silhouette in the distance. Was it a juvenile cormorant or maybe the kestrel we had seen earlier? It was neither. What we saw before us was a peregrine falcon, top of the food chain, fastest animal on earth, Able to dive for prey at the speed of 320 kilometers an hour, there it was. A bird that had been nearly obliterated by the effects of pesticides. A bird that had made an incredible comeback thanks to the res restoration efforts of many people. A bird that generally preferred to perch up high was perched at eye level on the break wall. An odd and ancient hush, stunningly still. It possessed an earned stillness the sort that follows soaring flight and aggressive muscular effort. I raised my binoculars and gazed at its slate blue back and the barred feathers of its chest. What I felt most was its self-containment, an aura of separation and indifference. I lowered my binoculars and noticed that the musician was no longer standing beside me. My guide, who I believed to have been swallowed up by other realms, whose bird love had allegedly faded, had waded into the freezing cold murky water. And there he stood in a lake that was gradually being restored through recovery efforts, feet sloshing crazily in his leather shoes. I felt my eyes get tingly and hot as I watched him move ardently toward the bird. Thank you. <laughs>